Hi, I'm Diana Haynes, and I've been practicing massage therapy for 33 years, and I've been a licensed instructor for almost 25 years. I was also the director of training for the Great American Back Rub Company, the first retail chair massage store established in New York City. I first started teaching chair massage in regular chairs long before the advent of professionally designed chairs as a way for therapists to get their hands on people in a casual context and promote their services. Over the years I've incorporated teaching chair massage into every certification course I've taught because I think it offers a unique entrance way for the average person who has never received a massage to experience the benefit of therapeutic touch. Press with your thumbs into those points, they'll still get some benefit from that. But if you can kind of lift it and get under there and cross fiber, boy does that feel great. Now we're going to do some friction strokes and you can start right behind the shoulder joint and friction the lateral border of the scapula and here we are getting the insertion or part of Terry's minor. Work down the lateral border with circles to Terry's major. All the way down to the tip of the scapula and then come up and okay here's the spine of the scapula straight across here and everything from the spine of the scapula down is infraspinatus. So I'm going to do circular friction all through the infraspinatus. Starting medial, moving lateral. There's also a trigger point right in the middle of the infraspinatus that's helpful for people with shoulder problems. So I'm going to again pick the scapula between, between my hands place my thumbs straight into the, infraspin the belly of the infraspinatus and just do a trigger point hold right there. Any sensitivity in that point, Dylan? No. Okay. You'll find sensitivity here if the person has shoulder problems. Okay, and then just stretch the shoulder out, heel of my hand.